Hi guys, you're probably expecting TFAF, but that's not happening today as Lexi's gone to Miami. So seeing as I had this opportunity to be all on my own, I thought I'd tell you 50 things about me. Slightly nervous, but I'm going to give it a go. So the first fact about me is that I'm really quick. I beat like over 200,000 sperm to get the egg, which I'm quite impressed with. That's my first life achievement. And the second thing is that I'm half American, although you can't tell whatsoever. My mum is from Boston and she packs the cat in Harvard Yard. I was born on the last day of the year, so that's 31st of December. Um, so that's quite cool. Or is it cool? It's one of those things I don't really know. Was it good? Is it bad? Do I have no parties or do I have all the parties in the world? A boring one is that I'm 21. Uh, I don't have a middle name. I was never christened. My grandma still prays for me on a daily basis that I don't stay in purgatory. Just throwing this in there. If I was a porn star, my name would be Budgie Pothia. That is my first pet's name and my mum's maiden name. I didn't go to university. Another slightly interesting but now uh, quite average thing that most people have is I have a tattoo on the inside of my foot. I'm supposed to say, I'll tread the path the least travelled and that'll make all the difference. And they actually didn't tattoo that on me. They tattooed, I'll tread the path that's best travelled and that'll make all the difference. So I went back and then they re-tattooed over it and now it reads, I'll tread the path that's hush path travelled and that'll make all the difference. Um, my first memory is probably a really young one. I'm not sure if I broke my skull or if I was just severely bleeding, but something definitely went wrong in my head when I was really young. I also was once a lad in a school play, and I think the politics and health and safety were like not really considered a thing when I was in year five because they made me fake tan like a lot so that I looked like Aladdin, um, and they made me like grow my hair and dye it black so I look kind of um, Middle Eastern. <laughs> I was cast in a fashion show when I was about nine. I'm also quite artistic, so I really like to paint. I like to do watercolours, which is slightly embarrassing, but I do. I can do this, which to some is unimpressive, but to me, I enjoy. I'm also very good at making friends with new people, and strangers just love me, and I will prove this to you now. Hello, take a seat. Hello. How are you? Good. I'm Lewis. I've not met you before, have I? No. No? But isn't this easy and comfortable and fun? Yeah. Just chilling, okay. Nice to meet you. I sort of thought that a good way for you guys to know a little bit about me is to go through my likes and my dislikes. So the easiest thing to start with is my dislikes. Okay, so guys, I really don't know if you've ever experienced this. It's like, oh, I wanna go and see my friends. I'm gonna get like the National Rail train. That's fine, oh, it'll be a lovely time. The journey is always part of the fun. So you get there and you get on the train and you put your stuff down and you sit in your little seat. And then you're like, oh, I'm just, maybe you get like a text message. And then you realize you're in the quiet carriage. I didn't want to be in the quiet carriage. The other thing that slightly, these are things probably that more slightly upset me with modern day society. I can tell I've been desperate to get these off my chest. But self-service checkout machines, like I get that they're there, that's okay. They're already kind of annoying, but it's fine. But I can do it, like it proves that anyone can do this job. And then you put all the stuff into the thing. I don't know if any of you shop at Co-op, but now Co-op tells you the prices of everything that you scan. So you scan something, it's like, that's one pound, that's 10, it's like so annoying. And then at the end, the machine goes, goodbye, have a nice day. I've just been wished goodbye and a nice day by a recording. It's like the most insincere, annoying thing ever. Another thing I find slightly, uh, I don't know, slightly strange, is when you're like at a meal and you're sat down, you're having a lovely time, you're being very sociable and you look and, you, and it's like, oh, this is nice. And then you look over and you see like a baby on like an iPad. Unlike most people, I actually really don't enjoy getting a massage. Another dislike of mine, which I know lots of you guys probably share with me, is when adverts try to be quite scientific and you're like, I don't really understand. Like, these words, I'm sure you're familiar with, pen pentapeptides, uh, ammonia, uh, bifidus regularis. I don't, I don't know what they are. I quite like um, people who read books for fun, but people who don't use like an iPad, but like have an actual book, I think that's cool. My other thing I really like is pregnancy, because <laughs> 
sometimes I feel it can be a bit awkward with people you don't know or you're meeting someone for the first time and you're like, oh God, like what do I say? And then you end up talking about the weather or something like that. But with a pregnant person, there's already about 56 questions you know to ask. You can be like, hey, how far along are you? When's the baby due? Oh my gosh, are you so happy? How are you finding pregnancy? Is it a boy or a girl? So it's just easy breezy. A pregnant lady, I'm like that with. I love cupcakes. I think probably like a big part of me that some people like and dislike, and that's an interesting fact, is I'm a massive kid. Like I'm a huge fan of Peter Pan and all of that, but I really, really like uh, like teddy bears and like, not in like an adult baby kind of strange way, but like I really love that whole sort of childlike side of things. Um, I like the like teddy bear machines with the claws and I always feel like I want to save them. My favorite color is green. Another thing I quite like and respect is girls who wear things over their leggings. My favourite type of people is old people because I really like them. I really enjoy watching TV, good TV. I really love Made in Chelsea and Towie. I love that I just put that in my good TV category. I have like a really bad Achilles heel for girl groups. I don't really know why, I just think that comes with my territory. But um, I think I really like the Saturdays like a lot, which is really embarrassing because they're not that great. I don't really like Twilight very much, and I really like Harry Potter. My favourite film like changes like the seasons, but I recently watched um, Finding Neverland, and I think that that's a really really sweet film. I'm also like heavily into fashion, but not in like a I'll tell you what to wear for your body shape kind of way, but more like a I like to look good, and so do you probably kind of way. And my favourite brands at the moment are Illustrated People. I really like Dent Demand, Global London, uh, Je ne sais quoi. Uh, they're my favourite like new brands, but obviously I'm always in Zara and I'm always in Top Man. Um, actually, I'm not always there. I'm sometimes in other places, like at home. But my biggest fashion faux part is ever looking like this. I'm not a very colourful person, so people really like colours and they see colours together. I will be happiest when everything is cream. The first thing I find quite funny, this is only for you guys who live in London, is that we have these little buttons on the door that you press to open the door on the tube and you can always spot the tourists because they don't work. So every time we get into a platform, there'll always be like someone pressing the button that doesn't work. The person on the planet that I find that the funniest, easy, Dennis Dickinson. And I also have some big questions in life that I have left unanswered that no one knows the answers to. My first one being, why can you get a cold breeze on a hot day? It makes no sense. If the day is hot, surely the breeze should be too. When lightning strikes the sea, why don't all the fishes die? Probably my biggest fear in life is growing up uh, alone and becoming quite elderly and I don't know, and then you, you develop interests in other things because you don't have anyone else to talk to and then I know I'll become like really excited by fabrics and I'll be one of those people who goes to shops and does this with all the clothes. I have a reoccurring dream on a regular basis of cats gripping themselves to my leg near my groin area. Uh, the best piece of advice I ever got given um, was find someone who you want to be or be similar to and follow them in their footsteps. I'm doing exactly that with John McCary. Things that would make my life a little bit more easier that I wish could happen is why can't little animals just speak to you? So if you are in the shower and there's a spider there, you don't have to be like, Jesus Christ, and the spider would just be like, hi mate, don't worry about me, I'm just chilling. The worst thing about my day-to-day -day life is that I have a Samsung Galaxy. I don't even have an iPhone. I'm also one of those people that really likes to tell people things. So like, I'm the annoying person if you were like, so, me and Jim went to the pub, I'd be like, Jim and I went to the pub. Middle-aged people, not even like old people, wear their earphones in their ears, and instead of like putting them like this and the cables are down, they wear them like this. Like, the furthest I've ever been from my little house here is probably I went to Brazil. Is that far? Is that further than Vietnam? I have not left the country for the last year and a half. That's like, how many months is that, 12? 13, 14, 15, 16, 18 months. See, I did that quickly, didn't I? <laughs> I can't really comprehend like massive numbers. The last fact I have is actually one of the biggest and most influential life decisions I've ever made, and I've saved it to last. I'm subscribed to Fashtag, and so should you. And this week, I've recently been watching everyone do their 50 things videos on YouTube, and I thought, blah, 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 blah. Okay, Hi, guys. Oh, that was so insincere. Let me try again. 
Hi guys, at the, oh, I sound so insincere when I say that. Hi guys. And as the other YouTubers, oh, um, I'm trying to think of something interesting to say. Yeah, there are people dying in the world. We've got a program called Cupcake Wars. <laughs>